Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I have removed the effect from the dark mode weapons and set. So yeah, it's gonna be a much better experience. And let's continue. By the way, if you want this mod for yourself, I'm gonna leave you a link in the video description below the video. So now we are gonna do this quest. than those here they were. Oh, the greed! By the way, if you have problems with rates, 
I would advise you to use... Uh, I don't have it. A Wraith Oil. Yeah, I have it. A Spectre Oil. And also... You should probably put some talents. And not play like I am, playing without any talents. Okay, let's read the things that we got. It's not my fault. It wasn't me, not me. What's not your fault? Fire. Fire everywhere. It wasn't meant to happen. I didn't want that, I swear. Won't get much out of you until I calm you down. Maybe the fire didn't consume everything. Maybe I can find some medicine, a sedative. Go away! Take that.
way! What's going on? Where am I? Easy. Rupert asked me to find you. Rupert? Lives. Listen, you and your friend. I don't get it yet, but you aren't telling the truth. That's painfully apparent. This place seems to have a very dark past, one you had a hand in. Do you understand me? Y yes Great. So now you can tell me the story and don't skip a thing. S story There's always a story, Gridley. Spit it out. Oh. We're former soldiers, fought for Eden during one of the wars with Nilfgaard, times long past. I was Rupert's adjutant in the field hospital that our unit set up in this manor house. We didn't at all mind who lived here. In fact, the inmates were friendly. At the outset, that is. One day our scouts captured a Nilf guardian. He was desperate to win his freedom and claimed he was part of a detachment that had concealed the booty looted in Edir. We couldn't believe our fortune, thought the gods had smiled upon us. We'd heard incredible tales of this treasure, questioned any black one we'd captured. It seemed all our efforts would finally be rewarded. We decided to make him talk. By torturing him? Our commander wanted to break him on the wheel, but Rupert said he knew a better way. There's a local herb. If you brew and drink it, you can only tell the truth. The commander interrogated the prisoner, drawing a map in the process. And we celebrated. Talked of how we would divide the treasure. And took ever greater liberties with the patients. The priest looking after them began to protest, and one of our boys split his head open. Nice, Gridley. Keep talking and I just might let you go alive and intact. What happened next? Once the prisoner revealed where the treasure was hidden, the commander had him quartered in front of the lunatics. They'd shown signs of madness before, but when they smelled blood, well, we could not control them. Many we simply had to cut down. I don't even know how the fire broke out. Any of the patients survive? A young woman we managed to pull from the burning building. She was nice, quiet and... willing. Two nights later she slit our commander's throat and... that was all we saw of her, and of the map of course. The war was ongoing and shifting fronts forced us to abandon our search for her soon after. And here you are, back after many years. Really think you can still find her around here? Life's not treated me well since then, and Rupert's had it even worse. This is our chance to reverse our fortunes. Fate smiled upon us once, perhaps by some strange chance it still holds us in favor. <sighs> I wouldn't count on that. I think we're dealing with one heavy curse here, and it looks like we need to start by finding that Nilfgaardian's corpse. Go away! Lee, oh, Lee, why? leave me be! Away with you! What do you want, Spectre? Their deaths? Two of twenty return where none remain. Yet one shall judge them. If he is merciful, he will feed them to the dead. If he is cruel, he will grant them what they came for. A prophecy. I should have expected as much. Bring me their hearts, so I may feast on their cowardice. Bring me their eyes, so I may spit in them before they are forever extinguished. Is that your offer? Fine. I'll lift this curse one way or another. They deserve to suffer!
Okay, let's read the quest log. It's creeping towards me. And? I met the Nilfgaardian's ghost. Let's find your comrade. Gridley, you live. What happened down there? I found the ghost of the Emperor's soldier. You're the Witcher. Get rid of it. Okay, let's try this dialogue. The ghost wants revenge. It brought you here to the scene of the crime. It'll lift the curse in return for you. By the gods, you'll not help him, will you? The ghost wants your hearts and your eyes. Gods, you must trick him. Surely you know a way. I could pull the hearts out of some neckers. Thing is, I'm wondering if it's worth it. Witcher, I beg you. Do what you must. Go see the butcher for some pig's eyes and hearts. Anything. You'll not send us to a cruel death. Pig hearts? I suppose there'd be some poetic justice in that. You're the Witcher, get rid of it. And... Okay, let's reload. And first, let's take them to him. But before we do that, let's make a hard save. And I'm at the Nilfgaard. Gridley, I found the. You're the. I already have. Come on, let me show you something. Who do I see? Remember me? Corpse men. Remember how I was torn apart bit by bit. Remember what you did with the people of this house. You deceived us! Crimes require punishment, and only retribution can lift the curse. I leave them to you. I need you no more. Let the feast begin, boys! Okay, so we got a hundred experience for this. Let's see, what do they have? So that's basically it, now let's reload and let's see the other endings. Okay so here I am back at this spot, and let's take this guy out. Gridley, you're the ghost, I the ghost, God, I can wait. Okay, so we already have Necker Eyes and Hearts, so let's try that method. Seven. Involuntary cramps of the facial muscles. It's St. Vitus Syndrome. He's dribbling. He's dangerous. Lock him up.
Where's it all from? I must clean it. To the bone. To the stone. Is it mine? No matter. I'm in pain. I beg you. Help. Give me some medicine. With hearts and eyes. And now you'll swear an oath. Once I give you what I've brought, you'll release your hold on this place. Not so fast, Richard. I want a pact. I want you to swear on this curse. Then keep your word, or your lust for revenge will go unsatisfied forever. I'll trust you. Let shadows withdraw into darkness. Let madness be soothed. Let what has died be buried. Let this place that was cursed be so no more. Now, give me what you've brought. Fool, who knows not that the dead cannot be deceived. You sought to rob me of my revenge, dog. You shall share the fate of those thieves. Come on! So we got hospital files again. Now let's see. How much experience are we gonna get? I destroyed the North Guardian soldier's ghost. Thank you, Witcher. Okay, first let's send them away. The ruins are safe. Now get out of my sight. But... Leave before I change my mind. It doesn't say how much did we get. Okay, so let's reload and try another way. I destroyed the North Guardian soldier's ghost. Thank you, Witcher. I've lifted the curse, but the perpetrators must be punished. What are you going to do? I'll take you to Laredo. Let him pass judgment. No. Not him. Just not him. We'll not go anywhere. Shut up. Halt! Who you got there? Murderers. Lorito needs to judge them. Get out of here. Look at him acting like a constable. Guests? How nice. Bring him to me. We shall talk about the good old days. <laughs> okay, so we got a hundred experience for this. Nice. And I'm at the North Guardian. Gridley, you're the the 
ghost my victim. God, I got witch pig. Okay, let's go get the pig ingredients. Take that. A nice... Hungry? A fresh meat from some piglets I slaughtered yesterday. There's also some beef and some venison from the elves. You'll not find better meat for miles. I need two pig hearts and two pairs of eyes. What, what do you need those for? For the needy and hungry. Oh, right. Not my concern. Folks say all kinds of things about witches, but I expect you know that already. Yeah, and most of what they say is true. Aye. Two hearts and two pairs of eyes. I needn't know anything more. And now let's go back.
and... You're the Witcher. Get rid of it. Trolls beat me. Hmm? What's this guy doing here? Hmm? You return. With hearts and eyes. And now you'll swear an oath. Once I give you what I've brought, you'll release your hold on this place. Not so fast, Witcher. I want a pact. I want you to swear on this curse. Then keep your word, or your lust for revenge will go unsatisfied forever. I'll trust you. Let shadows withdraw into darkness. Let madness be soothed. Let what has died be buried. Let this place that was cursed be so no more. Now, give me what you've brought. Fool. Who knows not that the dead cannot be deceived? Damn it! Okay, so what did the Geralt gave him? Okay, so obviously this doesn't work Leave me What the hell are you doing here, man? Beautiful day, and leave me alone. destroyed the Nilfgaardian soldier's ghost. Thank you, Witcher. So what should we do? Should I let them go or take them to Lorido for experience? Let's get the experience. I've lifted the curse, but the perpetrators must be punished. Halt! Mer get. Get. And we also got a teleport to town. Okay, now we can go and do this quest. We can get I think this all of these yet. ingredients Hi, from yeah. Cedric. So let's find Cedric. Is he here? Nope. So how's it going, dear? Everything all right?
Him Belk. It'll be nearly a year now. Moril would delight in a day like this, Saharan. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the longing. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let others' shade poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Vafail. Vafail. Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Cedric, look at me. What do you want, Geralt of Rivia? I'm looking to hunt in this area, and I could use some advice. I'm no Witcher. I set traps, snares, try to keep Neckers away from Lobinden. That's all. I'm aiming a little higher than Neckers. The old man? Meaning the Cairn? Finally, Laredo's splurged. Listen, I'm not one to teach your grandmother to suck eggs. You witches know your work. But if you pay me, I can prepare a useful trap. What kind of trap? Puncturing trap, immobilizing trap, even decoys to pull monsters into an ambush. Whatever you like. Since I can easily finish off an ensnared necker, it should be child's play for you. The elf woman you were talking about. How did she disappear? Sir Harim believes the forest took her. What do you believe? Moril simply vanished. Almost a year ago now. Some say she was too beautiful, and Dwan must have harmed her. You believe that? If I have no evidence before me, I try to trust my feelings. And they tell me the forest did not take her. Why would you keep that from Sir Harim? Because it's meaningless. Perhaps she was murdered, perhaps she departed on her own, never to return. She's gone, and neither I nor Sir Harim can reverse that. Who exactly are you? One who warns humans against the dangers that lurk in the forest. Care to clarify? I am old, even for an elf. Yet the forest is older. I've lived in it for years and understand it, though it's nothing I can explain. At times, I make mistakes, and people don't come home. So you help humans? I just know if it's safe to venture beyond the gates or not. Maybe I'll come back when you're sober. You witches live a long life. You may indeed get to see that day. What are the Scoia'tael fighting for? Do you ask about the Old Ones, who hoped to restore our race to its previous glory? Or about the young ones who fight for survival and out of suicidal revenge? Yorvith's warriors. Which mold do they fit? They believe they are still independent and that there is but one just way to view their cause. In truth, however, they're but a shadow of the Enshe's former glory. They cling to delusions to the very moment when a sword or a noose ends their life. Or until they realize the truth themselves. Which is, I believe, the worst. Good luck. Okay, let's see. We need Araka's eyes. And we need... Troll's tongue. Okay, let's sell the jaw. Oh man, it's so expensive.
Okay, so I'm not gonna initiate this dialogue because it's this dialogue is for a main quest. Good luck. Welcome, White Wolf. Let's talk about the talisman. You wish to sell it? I might sell, if we can agree on a price. Oh, I don't think that should be a problem. I'm not selling. I want to know everything there is to know about this ritual. Ask away. What do you need to perform the ritual? Essence of death. A troll's tongue, the eyes of an Arrakis, and an Endrigus fetus. Can you conduct the ritual? I see you have all the ingredients. If you make up your mind, come to the statue of Veopatis at midnight. All right, I'll be there. Monsters. Okay, so this is the statue of Veopatis. So let's meditate.
Why is she there? She should come here. Oh, she needs to move there on foot. Here at last. I don't know many brave enough to venture into this forest, especially at night. I do not fear the squirrels, and I have my methods for the monsters. Interesting. This place is full of mysteries that even witches can't imagine. You're the main mystery right now. Why do you need me? I don't know the ritual. You'll find out once I begin performing it. Are you ready? Let's begin. Prepare, witcher. And now, watch this. You must fight them! I need time to finish the ritual! Shit, you stink!
And she just left me. Did you manage? Melitele's heart has regained its former power. I can feel it. I never thought you could conduct rituals of that sort. <laughs> did you take me for a village witch who puts bread and cobwebs on wounds? What you did is closer to sorcery. Sorceresses, with all their learned books and schools of magic. What do they know? Magic Witcher is the heart beating fast, or the smell of wet, rotting wood. It upsets the underbelly and makes you weep and cry. It's the sigh that misses a field mouse nest. It's people coupling under the new moon till it hurts. It's blood spilled and sweet milk flowing. That is magic. I've experienced all that, 
and seen everything. I can control it. I wouldn't trade places with any sorceress. I don't know if I understand you, but I sure admire you. Take this talisman as a memento of our meeting. But you really wanted it. You helped me lift the curse from it, and ask nothing in return. Generosity is a rare virtue. Melitele's heart can once again bring luck. I think you will get more out of it than I will. Thank you. Come to me if you need anything. Better the devil you know. So this is the amulet. And now when it's uncursed, it gives you a vitality regeneration, which is awesome. And now we can go and do... What should we do? We didn't complete this one. They I guess they'll never learn. Ugh! <laughs> 
this nest. Got to blow up this nest. Damn it. Damn you, right? Oh. 
You stink. You're a strong lad, but I'm no wimp either. Wanna take me on? By Veo Patis's balls, you're strong. You're winnings. There's someone else. No one's beaten him yet. Who? Bartholomew Bargy. You'll find him in the village. What do you want? I heard you're the local arm wrestling champ. You bet I am. I'd like to change that. Many tried and walked away with shit in their britches. You want to go? You bet I do. All right, come with me. Let's do it now. I'll be tied up later. All right. Ready? Let's do it. Shame it was only one. The tyranny of despots must be ended! The common folk, mother! Common folk like me! Common folk like ye! Strong as an ox. Here are your orange. Once we had a company of Adam Pangrat's mercenaries here. I'm the strongest here, so I took on a dew. But that lad's got superhuman strength. He beat me like a child. If you ever see him, tell him Bard Bargy drinks to his health. All right. Stop 
aber neu in Mimasa. Okay, now let's go do this quest. On your desk? Is that a drop box for the Royal Post? Yes, I am the local Royal Postmaster. One of my many responsibilities. Would you mind if I looked inside? Absolutely no problem. Enjoy your reading. So long. And that's it with this quest for now. Now we can go and do this one. How's it going, dear? Everything all right at the household? <laughs> yeah, it's the screaming in dates and the old man. I think the stew's ready. Boss, why the hell are we stacking and restacking this? We'll wait out here. Make it quick. But we will continue this in the next episode. So if you like this one, give it a like. Dislike if you think it sucked. And see you next time. Thank you.